presidential inauguration is Friday. Here in Connecticut, some special guests are getting ready to head to Washington as history unfolds. News 8 anchor Scott McDonald has a closer look at how some of those attending may have a calming effect on crowds as Donald Trump is sworn in as president. A presidential inauguration, the kind of event worth getting all dolled up for. And that's exactly what Blue is doing. Nails. Trimming up his coat a little bit. Hair. Blowout. Even a facial. He had a blueberry facial. A day of pampering at Angel Paws Dog Grooming and Spa in Brantford. Yeah, you're a good boy. Ready for the national stage. This is an honor Blue has earned. Blue has excellent temperament. Blue comforts, calms, and assists disabled veterans as a service dog through the ECAD program, educated canines assisting with disabilities. To open doors, to pull their wheelchair, to assist them with medical alert, mobility, stability, balance. Even resting on a veteran's chest if they're having a nightmare. Good kisses. Good boy. Blue's owner, Carolyn Cyrus Halizinski, will be along as they accompany three veterans from Connecticut to the inauguration. The invite coming from Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro. To make sure that they had uh, what was necessary and to have the inauguration uh, be accessible to them. Blue will be there to guide our veterans as they witness a historic piece of U.S. democracy playing out. A vanilla and a little red, white, and blue. A democracy they defended. Scott McDonald, News 8.